Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and I'm back with the top 7 apps this time for the month of December. The first one and something that I'm really kicked to be using these days. You see how my Galaxy Note 8 is completely themed and it's not themed only in the settings section, you know. So whether I go into, uh, let's say, YouTube, for example, so you can see here that the background is black. The entire thing is themed black. My Play Store, um, even the settings of the Play Store, right? Uh, WhatsApp. The entire thing is black themed, even Instagram, for example. And trust me, I've got more apps that are nicely themed black. And how am I doing that? It's called Substratum Theme Engine. It's free to install from the Play Store, but depending upon your phone, you will have to download themes. So I've got this one, for example. Now let's say you've got the OnePlus. So you can go into Play Store and you can download Flux Substratum Theme for the OnePlus. Uh, so for across all OS's and devices, there are these themes available. So you can hunt for them on the Play Store and you can download them. And uh, you can apply one for yourself depending upon which uh, Android you have. So you've got Oxygen OS over there, for example, for OnePlus. For Samsung devices, you will have to download the Substratum Samsung add-on, which is essential to enable the theme engine. And then you can download uh, Swift Dark, which is um, one that I have. There's also Swift Black in the Play Store, which is absolutely pitch black. Again, very beautiful. And before we move on, I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers, guys. So help me with that, you know, do subscribe to my channel, hit that like button for sure, and that notification bell. And I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of the video, Air Console, which is an app that turns your smartphone into a game controller and your computer into a gaming console. As long as the smartphone and the computer are on the same network, you can choose from amongst various games that are already listed and go crazy. There are a lot of solo games, but the real fun would really lie when you get more friends and you can actually play together after having installed this app on the smartphones as well. So I think it's a great app and the link is in the description below. The next one is called Droop. Basically, this is what it does. Uh, touch a contact. Obviously, you can have your most recent one appear, appear here or your most favorite ones. Then drag it to the right side um, and choose how you want to communicate, whether you want to make a call, a WhatsApp message, a WhatsApp call, or you know, send a, a message on Messenger or even on Instagram. I mean, if you have a limited social circle who you really like and talk to all the time, then this is the app for you. And you know, you've got all of these integrations, which is amazing. Uh, pretty much how you talk to them every day, right? You send them stuff on Insta or whatever. You can choose how you want to launch it, whether you want you know dots on the left corner, so you swipe it, or you can also choose to have hotspots, which are invisible, and you just swipe it from there. Now you can see your contacts as your favorites list or you can also choose recent and within recent also you can add a filter, you know, so if you tap over there you can see you can filter by incoming calls, outgoing calls, missed calls. So it's just a quick way to sort of see who you want to reach out to and you can again continue with that swiping. Another really amazing feature is its ability to give you phone numbers of local businesses around you sorted by distance and if you like, let's say, you know, you want to pick one then you again have to do just, you know, the same thing, the same action. Tap on it and then drag it to make a call to that business. It's, it's pretty fast. It's really amazing. So check it out, guys. The next one is called Weatherback Wallpaper. And it essentially overlays the weather effects on your home screen real time, depending on your location. Now, I can't show it to you because it is officially nighttime here. So all I see is a clear sky with stars. But let me show you in the app screenshots to help you understand. So if it's raining in your area or if it's snowing in your area, this is how it's going to look, you know? And you can imagine what will happen if it was thundering. You can go inside the settings to really explore a lot of other things that you can do and uh, more premium effects are also available that you could pay for and unlock them. The next app is called Glasswire and what it does, it, it tells you which app is using internet on your phone the most at any given minute or last five minutes or an hour or over 90 days. Okay, so you're able to understand your usage patterns better. It could be another way of telling you where you're wasting your time the most. And for me, it's YouTube apparently uh, over the last 90 days. So you really try to, you know, start understanding how you're using your phone, where you're spending majority of your time, uh, what apps are taking, how much of internet at what levels, at what intervals, even minute by minute graphical representation does that. The, uh, it also sticks to your notification panel telling you how much you've used your Wi-Fi and your 3G or 4G data uh, in that month. Now, you know, if you go into the settings, uh, you can also check your usage patterns. 
which are more robust uh, than what I showed you on the home screen of this app. And you can also set your data limits. So, you know, it keeps a watch on how much data you, you know, is being used and it notifies you in case you're going overboard. So you can do that as well. The next one is an information app that gives you some amazing life hacks and it's actually pretty good because I am suggesting an app like this for the first time ever. 80 to 85% of the hacks or tips that they have mentioned here are actually quite amazing and helpful. I'm not even exaggerating, but these tips could really give you the edge, you know? And in fact, these could be very good conversation starters as well. There are a lot of categories to choose from. So if you're interested in something very specific, uh, you can do that. I'm sure the authors are going to be updating this app with more and more tips every day. So, you know, feel free to try this out. I know I'm asking for a lot by recommending this app, but I think you'd be surprised just as I was. The next one is called Lines, which is a physics based game. And it's very simple, very addictive at the same time. The idea is very simple. Think of these lines as racetracks. When you tap on a dot, you need to make sure that your color flows and covers as much of the tracks as possible as compared to other colors, simple. And the bar at the bottom, the bars that fill up, the one at the top is your color. That one needs to stay ahead of all the other. That's when you've done it right. So just place your dots in a way. Let's say I'm placing the red dots. I'm gonna do it in a way that that covers majority of these tracks. And, and you know, uh, I get to fill these tracks with more of my color. And you can see how the red line covers the most. So that way I win. So just try it out, guys. I think it's a pretty fun game and the music is amazing. And the last one is called Files Go. Uh, it's the last one in the list. It's a file manager created by Google. It's still in development phase, so it might be a bit unstable, but nevertheless, it's still pretty good, I think. Uh, it's not very different from uh, other file managers. You know, it does help you uh, get rid of some uh, useless content or some duplicated content. It tells you when to clear your app cache and uh, you know, you can obviously browse through your files. The, the good part is you can send and receive files uh, without much of a hassle. So as long as other people also have this app, it really makes it very easy um, for you to you know send your files and pretty much any kind of file which i think makes a lot of difference so that's it guys those are the top seven apps for the month of december hope you guys really enjoyed the video and do feel you know free to comment uh, any app that you feel i should be featuring in my next uh, top apps video i would love to do so so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe